let's learn the reason behind the different waveforms present in a normal lead to ECG. For this, we are going to take the lead to from something known as the Inthoven's triangle, which is directed from the right shoulder to the left foot. So whenever an impulse or a signal is transmitted in the heart in this direction, we will get a positive wave. And if it is not, we are going to get a negative wave. So let's begin. So first, as we all know, the pacemaker of the heart or the SA node sends the signal to the AV node present in the right atrium in the direction of our dipole. Hence, just the P wave. You only get a slight upward deflection due to the less amount of muscle present in the atrium. Then there is an isoelectric PR segment. This is because the wave of depolarization which passes through the AV node and bundle of his is too small to produce any magnitude in the ECG. Next, we have a negative Q wave. This is because the excitation of the ventricular septum is directed from left to right. Thus, this is not similar to the direction of our dipole which we wanted. Hence, there is a negative deflection of the Q wave and due to the less amount of septal mass activated, it is only a small negative deflection. This wave further spreads in the ventricular muscle mass in the direction of our dipole itself. Hence, we get a large positive R wave due to the large amount of ventricular muscle mass which is activated. The last parts to be depolarized are the posterior basal portion of the left ventricle and the pulmonary conus. As you can see in the diagram, it is directed exactly opposite to the direction of our dipole and hence we get a negative deflection which is the S wave. Next we have the ST segment which is once again an isoelectric line because the signals are inadequate to elicit a deflection in the ECG. And at last we have the T wave. As you can see in the diagram, the direction of repolarization is opposite to the direction of our dipole and hence it should have been negative. But unlike depolarization, the ventricular mass which is getting repolarized is from epicardial layer to the endocardial layer, which means that repolarization is from the outer layers to the inner layers. And due to this reason, even though it is in the opposite direction of our dipole, we get a positive T wave in the ECG. And there you go. Now you know the reason behind the different waveforms present in a normal lead to ECG.